Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create materials on Cinema 4D. I recently created a project with a Greek alphabet in 3D and I used multiple materials using different textures, colors and styles. You can find this project on Behance and Instagram at AngeloKNF. So I had many requests for a tutorial about the materials and how to create them. I will start by creating a letter, but I'm not going to get into many details for it because I have some previous tutorials on my channel which shows that process. I have added a link for a step-by-step -step tutorial for it on the description. So I'm taking the spline pen tool and I create a shape. I will add a sweep and also I will need to add the circle shape for the width. I will add the sweep on the top, then the circle and then the spline below it. I will change the width to 1.5 and I will add caps. With the sweep selected, I'm going to Caps, I will change the size and I will increase the segments. Then I'm going to make the shape a bit smoother and add some lights but I will skip this part as we need to focus on the materials. I have the letter here ready and I have added some lights and I have also created two materials. The one on the left is a shiny solid color material and the other one is using a texture. I'm going to create them from scratch to show you how to create them. I can double click on the empty space of material panel or I can go to create a new default material. Then I double click to edit it. Here on the left we have all these options which we can add and edit. When I click on one for example here on the color, in order to add a color, I can see all the options on the right. Here we can change the color, the hue, the saturation, the brightness, we can add texture, we can mix the texture with a color so we can have both and many other options. But first let's add the material to the letter so we can see the changes as we go. So I'm going to select a yellow color. I will increase the saturation, I will keep the brightness to 100% and then I would like to add a reflectance. So if we had any other object on the scene, you can control the amount of the reflectance on this letter. In this case we will have only the lights which will reflect. Here you can change multiple things, I'm going to change the type. Here you can change the roughness, which is how shiny or how smooth the material will be, the reflection strength and many other things. In general, in every option there are a lot of things to explore and you will learn them as you try them and play with their settings. You can add for example transparency, which will make the object transparent, but still you can control how much transparency it will have for example. You can add luminance which will increase the brightness obviously or you can add glow for example now you can see it because it has to be rendered I suggest to spend some time exploring the combinations on the material options because they are literally endless and you can create really nice stuff so I'm going back to reflectance and edit some of the settings Ok, so now I will change the name here and just close the window. As you can see here the material is ready. It's not exactly the same but it's similar. If I hadn't added the material to the letter earlier, so if I delete it, 
I can just drag and drop it either on the object itself or on the item here. Now let's try material with texture. I will create a new one by double clicking. I will also add it to the letter. I will delete this one and add the new one. I will double click on the material, change the name to texture material. Then I will select the color and I will go to add texture. I can add a texture by going to this option here. And I can select any image I would like to add. You can create a graphic on your own or find one online to add. I have downloaded this image from Unsplash, so I will use this. Here you can see that it is added also on the letter because we have applied already the material. And if you go on render, you will see how the result will be. So if you notice at the moment we don't have any reflectance, we will add it later. First I will try to mix the texture with the color, so I will go back in color, I will select a different color, for example a pink color, I will increase the saturation and I'm going to change the value of the mix strength. You can see that at the moment we have both pink and the texture. I also want to add reflectance, so I select reflectance. I will choose the reflection legacy type and edit some of the settings. Probably I will reduce the brightness a bit because it was very bright. And I will change the color of the reflectance to also a pink. So if I click render, here it is. You can see the color of the reflectance here and here. Then you can just go and edit the render settings and create the final design. That was how to create a material and edit the settings in Cinema 4D. You can go and check the rest of the designs of this project on my Instagram at Angelo KNF and follow me if you'd like to check new designs and posts about the process or extra information. Also, if you create your own designs, feel free to tag me to check them out. I hope you liked this tutorial and for any questions, as always, you can ask me on the comments below. Till next video, like, share and subscribe. See ya.